Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the part 10 for Vue.js project. In this video, we will integrate our API for login. So these are the points of our video. First of all, we will get this form data in our data properties. Then we will uh, uh, call a function over this login button. And uh, in that function, we will call our API. But before that, we must have to test our API over the postman. So we will test our API on a postman also for login. And after login success, we will redirect our uh, user from login page to home page. And uh, we will also check that uh, local storage and everything is working fine or not. So let's start with the first point. So let's get the data from uh, input fields to data properties. So uh, let me just close these all files. And uh, let me open from here, right? So here you can see that we already used here view view model because in last video we copy the code from uh, the sign up page to login page that's why we already have this v model with the email and password but these properties are not defined yet so let's define them so let me just make a data function return and here we can define two properties email and by default they will be blank like blank email and empty password also like this right so these are already with the binded with the email and password whenever we will type something the data will be automatically saved inside email and password so that's fine so now let's go for the next point let's call a function on login button so we have to make a login event first of all so just put here v on click and on this click we can call any function let's say my function name is login but we have to define this login function also so where we can define we have to define it inside our method property so let me call it methods and uh, let me define login and here i can simply uh, make a console dot log and we can check that uh, the data from email and password is uh, binding with these this data properties or not so i can simply check here this dot email comma this dot password so let's check so here i am putting console dot one so that we can just check them in a more clear way so let me add here first one let's say anil at the rate test dot com and uh, let's say password is anil at the rate one two three and whenever i will click on login button you can see that email address and password both are accessible inside our login function that's great now we are ready to call apis but before that we have to test so first thing is that where is our api so we did not uh, create it actually as you know we are using the json server for apis and when we are uh, register our user that time we have to create a object like uh, like a user but that time we don't need to create any kind of uh, object and all because we are not saving the data. We are just fetching the data on the behalf of email address and password, right? Because email address is always unique and password is the security key. Name can be same for two user and more user, but email address and password can be the unique combination always. So what we have to do, I, I just want to show you a filter option here. So in that time we will call a get api with here we can just uh, pass our uh, email address and password like title and author right i will just make it more clear with to you so just uh, define your local storage with the port 3000 and this is the, our user complete list right now what do we want we want uh, we want to check that uh, uh, the given user id and uh, email id and password which is uh, provided here they are uh, perfectly matching with our database or not right for that let me just uh, make this api completely like uh, question mark email and with that email we can check here let's say john right at the rate test.com this can be email address and we don't need these codes actually Right. but this uh, we are able to log in here but now there is a uh, actually you can say that uh, trick because 
email address is public so we must have to check your password also so we have to send your password also so with that let me check and uh, password is let's say one two three and all and now this is perfectly matching so now maybe you are you can say that without password is this is also just fetching the data so this is unsecured yes because we are using json server and this is not the proper way of apis we can just make a small project but when we, whenever we will work with the complete project and making a perfect project then we create these api in backend language like node php java and all and that time they will provide you full securities right so i hope you can understand and we can work with that api right so with the email and password field we will send the dynamic data which we will fetch from these input fields right so now let's integrate it so before integrate it uh, we have to import our axios api package so let's import here import axios from axios like this right and uh, now inside our login function i can take a variable let's say result is axios dot get right this is the method for calling get apis because we are using get method here right and now let's take this uh, your complete url and let's take our back ticks i will tell you why we are making our back ticks here like this and in this uh, let's replace this static email with our actual this dot email right because this is fetching the data from input field so how i can do it from uh, fetch from here because this is like a string so for that let's use here dollar brackets because we are using back ticks and this is the template engine you can see that right this is the templating uh, syntax so let me put here this dot email here and let's do the same for password like dollar this dot password perfect now we can check our result whatever we are getting inside our result also like this keep in mind we are calling api and the apis are always async so just uh, use here async await async await like this so let me enter some data like uh, bruce at the rate test.com so uh, if you are thinking that how i am getting this data this data is stored in our uh, db.json file like uh, bruce peter and here you can see that rihana baskar john and all right so we are getting the data from here so the password for bruce is um, which is uh, bruce at the rate 123 so whenever i am login here then you can see that we got the data and here actually it provide the status 200 that means api is just uh, working fine tax is also okay but it never tell that our uh, username or password is perfect or not that will tell by the data property here you can see that it returns the email id id name and password that means everything is perfect right so if i just um, miss the password something something inside the password then here you can see that because our password is not correct here that time we got the data with a zero value there is a nothing inside data api is working fine everything is fine but there is a no data matched because of this password right so it should also be fine so now we can check that if there is something data there is some data inside uh, the data properties like uh, some uh, array or something and api status is 200 then we can redirect it to our home page and we can store the data in our local storage also right so let's come back here and for that what i'm just going to do on a sign up page in uh, previous videos you can see that we use that that statement if result is that one and uh, status is 201 that means we can just store the local stories data in local stories and push our user to the home page let's say this, do the same thing here also but there is uh, some changes because here we are not storing something we are just fetching that's why we have to check here 200 status and 
keep in mind with that we also have to check that in data properties we have some uh, data right uh, let's say result dot data dot length length should be uh, greater than zero right should be greater than zero we can check it like this and after that we can just store this data because now we are getting data inside the array so we can store the zeroth array to the uh, local storage right and now let's check i just want to show you that uh, we have nothing for a moment in our local storage and now i am login with the peter at the rate test.com and let me check here peter at the rate one two three and whenever i will log in you can see that user is redacted on the home page as well as the data is stored in the local storage also perfect but there is still a issue so user is logged in but after login it should not be uh, uh, you can see that visit the login page but still a user can visit the login page how we can stop it there is also same way in last videos we are added here a mounted function the same method you can also add it our uh, inside our uh, login page also right if there is something inside our uh, uh, local storage then it will be directed again to the home page so let's check it again if i am trying to go on a login page it will redirected on the home page and same with the sign up page right and let's say if uh, we are not created the logout functionality yet but still i can remove that data from here and now if i am checking the login it will be go on the redirect because there is a no user logged in here as we remove the local stories right so that's all for this video if you still have any kind of confusion any query you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video